Hello everyone, this is Sega Sully here, bringing the fourth episode of Mass Effect. So I just want to thank you guys so much for the support on the first three episodes of this series. They were absolutely insane, I can't thank you enough. But, if you didn't check out the episode on Friday, episode 3, please go back and watch that now. We had a lot of good moments in that episode, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. But with that out of the way, let's hop into today's episode and tell you guys what we're going to do. So we are going to be exploring the Citadel, talking some, to some new people, seeing what's about, and hopefully tracking down our new Tyrion friend, Garrus, who has some information about our arch enemy Sorin, who we will need to take down at some point in the game. So without the way, let's go on forward with my two comrades, Ashley and also Caden. So we're going to go down these stairs here and find out what is happening on this citadel. Chorbin, let's talk to Chorbin here, let's see what he has to say. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. Oh, actually, he's uh, getting there. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well... Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. So we have the scanner. We're going to be like Azmuth in Ben 10 who collected alien samples to put in the Omnitrix. Or maybe if you're more familiar with Pokemon, the Pokedex and cataloging their DNA and their entry into the Pokedex. So let's talk to this Keeper and scan it. So we got the first Keeper scan. And we're gonna head to... Oh wait, we don't wanna go to the den yet. I wanna go to the... Oh, what do you... Yeah, the console chambers. We were going to do in the previous episode. I ran out of time. So let's do that today. Let's go to the console chambers and see what's going on. But question of the day, guys. What is your favorite location in the Citadel? What you've seen so far? Or if you played the game so uh, before, or so far, if you're playing this with me, what is your favorite location so far? I would love to know either in the Citadel or in the game. Uh, that would be amazing to know. Oh, there's a key, but let me scan it. So that is it. Oh, Nelina. Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. What do you do here, Nolina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation, as much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body and relieve it. 
I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in... Mm, mm, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Oh, well, this is a uh, took a turn, wasn't it, guys? Who knows what's gonna happen now? Huh. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I wonder if she's gonna join my crew. That would be good. Always good to get a new crew match. This is my first time. I can't believe I didn't come sooner. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a private back on Earth. Oh, that's very interesting. Maybe he can join my platoon eventually. Send me his information and I'll uh, pull good word in for the captain. Oh, here he is. Oh, sorry, here she is. That is, is. close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our Citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What happened between you? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Well... Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Well, we are going that way anyway, so I guess I guess we'll give you a quick hand. We will go to the den because we have to go meet Garris there, I think. I or I think someone around there. Right, let's go to the wall's locations, and we're going to the Chor Chora's den. You know. If there was a pub around here called that, I would go to it, like, all the time. It sounds really cool. The Chara's Den, like, would you guys go there? If you can go to the Chara's Den in real life, would you go? Oh, so it's a German's club. Oh, God. Hide, 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 hide. Oh, we almost got one shot there. Jesus. Look again. Go down, go down already. I've shown you like five times. Oh, was that headshot? That's hostiles. really good for us. We we just took out the hostiles. Let's just heal up a bit, guys, before we go in. I don't want to die. You know, I died a big go where we played last time, and uh, that was not fun. Let's see what's through this door. Oh, are these people we need to talk to? Oh, wait, Haki. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. I agree, I don't want to get caught in the middle. Alliance military. 
I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Wow, okay, so he was... We did kind of know the world well, missions came out. We do know he was a specter, that's insane. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. And... Commander! <laughs> what do you want? I'm here on Shaira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me! ME! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet! I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower, or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Oh, that's sweet of you. Thank you. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand. Oh, come on. Let's get a drink, guys. Jay, can I get uh, a drink? Boo. I want a drink now, but all right. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. What did that other Krogan want? Rex? Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Thank you, I will enjoy the club. Now let's get out of here and try and go to get this guy's information to him. <laughs> so we can stop spreading the lies about... Shit, shit, I can't have it. That's You could be messing with our heads, who knows? Also, if you heard that din in the background, uh, sorry about that. Ooh, 
we want to go to the embassies, right? Yes, here we are, the embassies. And we'll give the dear pad to this guy and stop spreading lies about Sheila. If if no, anyone knows how to pronounce that properly, uh, let me know because I struggle with pronouncing names. And yeah, it, it's not a good thing, but I do try. Let's try and find this person. Z Zena? Zena is how you say it? I'm sure, I'm sure they said they were in the embassy somewhere. Avina, good to see you again. Are they up here? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to. Oh, wait, I can do it like this. A uh, journal. Uh. Is that the Elcor? Elcor embassy. Let's try and find that. This place looks really nice. Oh, that's Pauline. Anyone in here? I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. All right, come down. I just, I just want to see how you're doing. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Yeah, why what not? We drink for you. Information mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies, not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. Goodbye. So long, Commander. I'm to find this guy in the embassies, but... Oh! Let's get this key post. Let's get him. Got, we got 30 credits for that. Where is this guy? We're going to try to find him now. Oh, what's. Do we go this way? Yeah, that's where we came from, so what's in the store? Oh, it must be this. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. So that's an Elcod diplomat, so he must be in here somewhere. Do you? Where is he? I thought I'd be around. Oh, wait, what's that there? There's a little map there. Ooh. I wonder if he is around here. Oh, that's just leading me to a Vina. Oh, I've been this way. What's up here? Maybe he's maybe he's in this room. Okay, can I get in there? So let's try up here, see what's around here. Oh, I think this is it, you know, maybe through this door. Saying, please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. Oh, I that's... am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. 
If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth plan stands to profit. I'm sorry that took so long to find him, but I'm glad we finally did. And oh, if it did take longer in the video, I might call a little bit out. But I don't think it took too long to find him. But let's go down this way and find Ooh. out where to go next. We're gonna go. Do we need to speak to the consort? Maybe we do. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see. Let's see if in the journal is saying to go talk to the concert. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's go talk to the consort now. Oh. Let's go to the consort chambers. So I know we were supposed to get Garrus this episode, but this seems a lot more interesting this episode. No, well not a lot more interesting, but this storyline, finding the secrets of uh, Shalia, seems a lot interesting. We know where to go for Garrus in the next episode, so we could- Oh, maybe I can get to Garrus before we end this. We'll find out. Shira, that's Commander, it, Shira. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone, but it gives you strength. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. You have quite a gift, Cheira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. Thank you for the trinket. I appreciate that. What we're going to do is before we wrap up the episode, we will start making our way to the next area which we were supposed to go, which is when we go to the... Oh, when we go... I don't want to go save. We'll go to the... Jur uh, the, jur uh, the journal. So we need to go to the next location he said I uh, wasn't how 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 fuck how fuck or something like that? Uh, uh Harak that's it, Harak. Harak said Let's go to the med clinic.
Yes, we arrived at the medical center. Let's scan this keeper. And let's go up this way. I'm guessing that's garage there. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Get down, get down, get down. Two more shots, there we go. Think we I got him, down. Commander. I think we got him as well. Oh, can we heal up for this? Oh, wait, where's the rapid thing gone? Ah, oh, I missed it now. Sorry. Perfect right. timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Oh, let's go. Let's... I want to switch out Ashley for Garrus. Oh, I want Kaden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my new squad. Here we go. So, guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. We hope you guys did enjoy it. We now have Garrus in our squad. And I'm so happy about that. If you do enjoy this episode, as always, make sure to slap that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Until I see you on Wednesday for our next episode. Peace out and goodbye.